Hey there, YouTube. This is section 333 here. It is a beautiful Friday afternoon. It's about 4.30. Um, I am smoking my Friday Savinelli in honor of my man. Matches 860 great YouTuber himself. Kind of a father of the pipe smoking videos. Um, him in one man piping. Dagners, yeah. YouTube pipe community. I am smoking in my Friday Savinelli, which is a Oscar Rustic, as you can see, it is a beautiful pipe, Oscar Tiger Rustic, and that's the, I guess that's the Tiger Stripes, the, uh, in the stem there, I don't know if you can see that, it's like yellow and black in the stem. Anyway, um, I am smoking Captain Earl's 10 Russians, which I cannot get enough of. Um, I've been smoking that a lot lately. Um, Mostly, partly because I have a lot of it, but mostly because I really enjoy it. Um, I have been smoking a lot of the vintage Syrian, too. Um, Yeah, vintage Syrian is like, that's almost like dessert for me. Mm, that is a great pipe to back up. But as is this, this is like a beautiful cordial. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, smokes beautifully. Smokes beautifully, the 10 Russians, like I said, smoke on smoke, it's just, it delivers every way, with the smoke, delivers with the taste of the smoke, delivers with the tin note of the smoke, um, just really hits the spot, you know, the thing is too though, is there's so many great tobaccos out there now, um, there are some... I mean, I like so many different blends, so many different brands. I, I, it's tough to go wrong now. The competition is, if you put something out that's no good, it, you're going to stop making it within a, a couple of months because no one's going to buy it. Um, the competition is so tough right now. You have to make good tobacco. Um, yeah, that's why I like some people are like, oh, Penzance, Penzance, Penzance. Penzance is great, don't get me wrong, I have actually smoked one bowl recently, um, a friend shared some with me, and while it was phenomenal, I actually have some Margate, which I only smoke on special occasions, yes, does anybody else have special occasion tobaccos that they only smoke when it's a special occasion? <laughs> I do, um, but I have Margate, which I actually enjoyed the Margate, more than I enjoy the uh, Penzance. What are you going to do? Um, vintage Syrian is kind of a special tobacco for me, even though everybody tells me you can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you know? Um, I don't know how long you're going to be able to keep getting it. So.
as is Three Oaks area by McClellan. Mm. So, I actually really like this pipe. The uh, Tiger Rustic, Oscar Tiger Rustic. Um, I don't know if they make this in a smooth. I have no idea. Um, but, yeah, I think Savinelli makes a great pipe in general. And I think they make, you know, I think it's them, Peterson, Stanwell are your best bang for your buck. I think those brands, most of their brand, most of their lines are affordable, and even their cheaper lines are still good pipes. Um, is it pretty as a Paul Winslow? No, um, but they do make some darn pretty pipes, and they do make some uh, very good quality pipes, and they know is near the price of a Paul Winslow. I mean, you could get a Savinelli Puntoro, and. Uh, And spend, you know, quite a bit of money on a, on that pipe too. But Yeah, you can spend quite a bit of money on a uh, on a Savinelli, same with a Peterson. But they have other lines, same with a Stanwell. They have other lines, those three companies, of very good quality pipes that are a step up. I mean, it's not a Sir Jacopo, but they're step ups from what you're most likely smoking. Uh, if, you know, if you're, let's say, you entry-level corn cob or Barracini or, I mean, or Medico. Yeah, and it's a nice step up. And you got the smooth bowl here with the grain. You can actually see grain in this one. The rustications are gorgeous on this pipe. They're very even. Got your Savinelli logo on the bottom. It's actually a very nice pipe. And I don't know why I don't smoke it more. You know, part of it, though, too, is, is I've developed favorite pipes over the years. You know, my Rick Black uh, Ruffian Poker. I love that pipe. Absolutely love that pipe. Um, my Dagners. My favorite Cobb to smoke is my Dagner Cobb, actually. I love that poker. The Dagner Poker Corn Cobb by Missouri Meerschaum. I love that pipe. I can smoke that pipe. I have two of them. Three, actually. One that I've never smoked and two that I rotate. Because I really enjoy smoking that pipe. Um, there's some guys who only smoke corn cob pipes, too. And they really enjoy the corn cob pipes. And I love that. You, know, you don't have to have a $700 pipe or a $100 pipe. This, this pipe, by the way, not even $100. I don't think I spent $100 on this pipe. But, uh, doesn't get that warm in the hand, this pipe. Um, I, I look at it, the bowl is not not a small bowl, but it's not a huge bowl either, you know, it's, uh, you know, there's, there's worse out there, I mean, my Paul, I think my Winslow has the biggest bowl of anything I own, um, I do have, uh, oh, it's not a Chacom, it is a Chacom, I'm thinking of a Boot Chocan. Boot Chocan is actually not a bad pipe either. Um, 
but I have a Chacon Volcano, which is a very big pipe. Oh, there's my little dog. She came out. She actually likes the patio. I didn't think the dog would like the patio. Um, I thought she would be more, you know, because she used to really enjoy running around the yard. And now that the yard, pardon me, looks more like a, um, a spa or a retreat, and you have all this paving back here and these flagstones and all of that, I thought that the dog was going to, um, not like it, but she really enjoys it, and she likes going up into the part where the rocks are and everything and it's like for her she's like out in the woods or something you know But, you know, she enjoys it. So, hope everybody had a good week at work and good week in general. Um, I had a tough week. It's very busy. The last two days weren't too bad, but the first two days were, hoo hoo hoo, yeah. You know, also I've been busy with the, you know, this is my holiday this week it's in September, so, you know, it's towards the end of September. So this is, uh, it's, the high holy days have started. And, uh, so Shana Tova uh, to all the, um, all of my Hebrew brethren that are out there. And Shana Tova to everyone, you know. It's actually, it's a sentiment you can wish to everyone in the world is a happy new year. And, uh, you know, and you hope everybody has an easy fast for Yom Kippur. Um, be granted a mitzvah for, and watching my rabbi did, he granted us a mitzvah for, uh, my wife and I both worked on, uh, the last two days, and, um, because, you know, we work in healthcare, so it's kind of important that we get to our jobs and do what we do, take care of our patients. It's not kind of important. It is important. <laughs> yeah. So the, the rabbi is actually very understanding about that. And uh, so, because you're doing good things for people. Um, yeah. So I had some questions uh, to any, any of the people that follow this channel or subscribe to this channel. Um, any particular videos you want to see, let me know. Uh, I am going to do a video on the Osprey Nebula pack. Somebody actually asked me to do one because of the... I put a couple backpacking or pack videos up for my everyday carry pack. Uh, so I'm going to do some of those. Um, but any particular videos, any particular tobaccos you want to see, um, Penzance I cannot get. <laughs> Sobrani. I haven't been able to find it. <laughs> um, but I had some questions about, like, you know, I was talking about scotch in the last video when I was smoking the 10 Russians, Captain Hell's 10 Russians, as well as when I was uh, smoking the H and H or Hearth and Home uh, 
Clary's blend. When I smoked that, I was speaking about single malt scotches, things like that. Um, I do like to imbibe in nice quality spirits from time to time. And sometimes it's very relaxing to have a good single malt with a good smoky Lactakia flake. Um, with the Virginias, I do drink a bourbon or a toasted rye or something like that from time to time. And uh, that's quite good. Or a regular rye even. I'll drink that with uh, when I smoke Virginias. Um, and I'll drink that when I smoke uh, even Latakia blends as well, and, and English blends. So I guess what I'm asking, um, some people enjoy beer or wine. Uh, I gotta tell you, Dark Fire Kentucky goes very well with, uh, with, with, with bourbon or corn whiskey uh, as well. Um, so I do have to ask people, what do you, if you imbibe at all, uh, is there any particular type of uh, spirit that you enjoy with your pipe? And uh, you know, if you do, definitely put it in there. Um, you know, and. Is you drink something different depending on what pipe tobacco you're smoking or whatever? Um, do you have a go-to pipe brand with a go-to or, your, or a go-to whiskey that you always go to no matter what pipe you're smoking or cigar you're smoking? Um, you know, for me, um, I enjoy Lagavulin because it's very peaty and smoky and Octomore, um, which is also very peaty and smoky. And I, because I enjoy these types of blends um, as well. Um, but when I'm when I'm smoking like uh, the Drew Estate uh, Gatsby Luxury Flake, I will I will usually stick the bourbons and rye. Um, the Dark Fire Kentucky, if I'm smoking that, um, I'm I will go with Kentucky bourbon. Um, I'll break out the 23-year-old Pappy Van Winkles for that. Um, and it, it hits the spot, you know. Uh, I will crack open the 30-year-old Port Ellen every now and then for uh, to smoke a good pipe. Um, it, I think one enhances the flavor of the other sometimes. Uh, and there's people, I'm sure, on both sides of the fence that would disagree with me on that. But to me, I feel like it enhances the flavor. Uh, of one enhances the flavor of the other. Um, so let me know if that's an experience with you. Also, got a funny pipe story. Um, <laughs> I was uh, in a parking garage parking my car. And I honked the horn on somebody because they were going kind of slow. And I knew where the parking spaces were. I guess he was lost and didn't know where all the parking spots were. So I was like, you know, let me show him where the parking spots are. <laughs> Get out of the way and I'll show you where they are. You know? <laughs> and so I go and park my car. I was being impatient. It was, it's my fault. And uh, so I, I must have set the gentleman. So... When I park my car, next thing I know, somebody's knocking on my car door. The gentleman, he's about 10 years older than me, so maybe maybe more, maybe about 13, 14. So he's like 60 something, and uh, gets out of the car. And he's knocking on my car door. So I get out of my car, and I'm like, oh, God, I don't want to have to beat this guy up. I, you know, <laughs> and, and, you know, and I'm not that kind of person where I would immediately think to throw to throw punches with somebody or fisticuffs. 
but I can handle myself. I can handle myself very well. And he starts yelling at me because he's like, oh, you're so impatient and this and that and everything. Says, Why are you honking your horn at me? And He's smoking a pipe. And I said to him, is that a Dr. Grabo? And he's like, it is a Dr. Grabo. I didn't even like listen to like what he was saying. I was just, I said, is that a Dr. Grabo? And then we started, we had like a whole 15 minute conversation about pipes. We were both late for our appointments. <laughs> we exchanged numbers. <laughs> We'll probably go on mandates or something like that. <laughs> but, you know, we liked a lot of the same things. He's from the same area of Long Island that I'm from. And he even belonged to the same cigar club that I belong to. Um, the Havana Room at the Carlton in Eisenhower Park here. It was a park here on Long Island called Eisenhower Park. And uh, he belonged to the Havana Club uh, Cigar Club as well. And <laughs> Thank God he was smoking that pipe. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think, what was he smoking? He was smoking uh, Captain Black, actually. He likes Captain Black. So he's smoking Captain Black Red. Uh, we hit it off. Everybody apologized. To, I apologized to him. He apologized to me. exchange business cards and we'll probably meet up sometime at the Carlton and have a smoke and a, and a dinner together yeah <laughs> it's, you know it, it's and it just goes to show something about the world we, we focus on the things that make us upset and angry that we lose sight of the things that we have in common with other people and other and even with other nations you know and I think if we focus more on what we have in common with people, you, you'll find you, you let go of, of the differences. Um, you, you find ways to work around the differences. You know, I'm a very staunch conservative. My best friend is a liberal. And uh, I'm actually not even a conservative. I'm a libertarian. Not to get too political on this. Um, but... It, just don't focus on the differences, you know. Try to focus on, on what really matters, and what really matters is what brings people together. So, listen, I'm going to go take a dip in the pool. I hope everybody has had a very good weekend, and it's been a... And I hope everybody has a good holidays, and like I said to my Hebrew brother, I hope you have a very good fast next week. Um, on Friday, I will probably not do a video on next Friday. I will have to do it either Thursday night or Sunday afternoon. Um, but I will not do a Friday uh, video because um, I will be um, observing my holiday. Uh, always a pleasure. And uh, thank you everyone who watches these videos. And um, listening to my ramblings and thoughts. Uh, but thank you so much you know somebody told me in my last video too and I'm looking at this now um, as I'm facing the <laughs> as I am facing my house so the camera's facing my house my back's to my house and somebody said to me why don't you have the pool as your backdrop and I was like that's probably a good idea so the next video the pool will be the backdrop alright Love you all. God bless. All right. Thank you. Have a good weekend.